judiciary, in our view, from a transformer RSA point of view, has always had integrity because it has never been at any point influenced, even though there has been some attempt to make substantial influences on how the judiciary should decide and actually uh, judge on matters and cases. Of late, you have seen a level of transformation actually occurring with regards to the upcoming the outcomes of judgments that have been awarded lately, where we are seeing an independence from a judiciary point of view. That does not say uh, the current economy we are living in is actually in support of those particular judgments, because even when the, bank, uh, the, the High Court has declared that the four banks had committed an error of judgment when they closed down the accounts of Ogbe particularly, the four banks didn't go back and saying, let's correct our actions and reinstate these accounts and open them up and make sure that the transactions are still falling. The four banks are still remaining defiant and have not even applied the judgment that was already handed down. Now we have a secondary judgment that has come up again that says the Bank of Baroda particularly must actually make sure that their banking accounts of Ogbe are open and must make sure that the monies and transactions that are going to be flowing in and out of the bank accounts are not disturbed. And that gives us the confidence that the judiciary is independent in South Africa. The judiciary still has a long way in terms of transformation to go, but it is making an attempt to give a balanced, transformed judgment we welcome in South Africa.